Hey guys, it's Josh from Culture Cave here again, back to video number two. Yeah, alright, so next up we have the Nightingale figure, surprise surprise, also from Gaming Heads. And also, surprise surprise, the exclusive edition as well. So basically, I've been waiting a good, almost two years for this figure to come out. Um, and finally, as soon as it was in pre-order, I was actually overseas at the time that this came up. And it became went from pre-order to available now. I clicked buy as soon as I realized I could. So <clears throat> it's another statue that is one in five hundred. Um, it is another amazing statue from Gaming Heads. As I said in the last video, their communication is amazing. Their statues are amazing. Um, and we'll go through a bit of a tour of this as well. Um, and yes, I did actually change my shirt. Um, and yes, I did actually enjoy Suicide Squad for those of you who are interested in the movie. Um, unlike those critics out there, I thought it was great. I, there was only a few things that I thought that I could have changed, but it's a topic for a whole other video. So, for the moment, let's reveal Nightingale. Alright, let's bring him a little bit closer. And, okay. First thing you need to notice, the arrow does come out a little bit easy, but it's no big deal, you can just stick it back in. No pun intended there guys. Alright, so, great thing about being an exclusive, da -da -da -da, the base lights up, which does look awesome, it is meant to simulate the pulsing river effect. Um, I mean, to me it is a little bit just, you know, like you're turning lights off and on. But it does look cool, it does add a bit of an extra kind of flair to it, and it, you know, if you're like me, have it on your bedside table at night, lights up the room. So for those of you who want to sleep with a nightlight, you can think of no better one. It's a bit of, it's a bit of an expensive nightlight, but it does look amazing. So, um, back to statue. So, again from Elder Scrolls, no, sorry, this one is from Skyrim. Um, that's why the base is a little bit different. Um, his pose is amazing. He's got his bow drawn out. Um, he's pretty simple to put together. I did have this already on display. That's why I couldn't kind of do an unboxing. Um, I will show you through the box for this one as well. So let's get into that. All right, so box again has some really great artwork in there. We've got the Skyrim Dragon up the very top there. This is product number 86, if you can see it in there. Same thing with the Breton statue, you do get a bit of a description there on the Nightingale character. Um, pretty much a badass thief, if you want to put it into layman's terms. Got a photo of the base all lit up there. Okay. And inside the box, let's do this again. Go through it. Alright, not as much to display this time, but it does have that same branding on the phone, which is amazing. So you've got the Skyrim logo up there, you've got Nightingale, Gaming Hits down the bottom, and you do get the same funky credit card. So for those of you who do have extra spots in your wallet and have nothing else to put in them, there you go. So it does look pretty sick. Got some information on the back there. Alright, so it's going to be up to you if you want to you know, take it out or leave it in the box. I just leave it in the box. Alright, so let's go around the statue. Get up nice and close now. Alright, so same thing, roughly 1 6 scale. It is 1 in 500, I think I mentioned that before. So you do have the majority of the black armor in there. Uh, the bow itself, it's kind of a wooden dark brown color. It's not pure black, but it does look really great. It's got a lot of intricate details there on the actual bow itself. The arrow, again, is detachable. Just make sure you stick it in there really nicely. Aha, no pun intended there as well, guys. Alright, got the crest. 
the mask. So when the lights do come up all the way, his face does get illuminated a tiny bit. Right, so he's standing inside. There is, which looks like an axe in the water. The lights are coming up and shining on it. Alright, so going all the way around the back. His cape is made from that same plastic. It's a little bit tougher than what the Breton was made out of. But still no biggie. It does look great. So got him standing on the rock face. i let you guys soak it all in. So it does have his sword that is back there, which you can remove. I don't know why you'd want to, but it is there. It does look cool. But again, the main thing you want to see is him just on the ledge with his bow, casually hanging out. About to shoot some shoot some shit. So got a few ruins down the bottom there. For those of you who have played Skyrim more than what I have, you might understand what they mean. I did get through the most of Skyrim and then Unfortunately, the game was stolen, and so was my PlayStation, so I wasn't able to finish it. But it is coming back to PS4, so I hope to get back into it and see if I can complete the game. Alright, awesome. So that pretty much is the Nightingale statue from Gaming Heads. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Well, sorry, message me. Um, and yeah, in that case, we'll see you in the next video. All right, take it easy, guys. Till next time.